Hey listeners, welcome to the RAS ACS and Behind the Knife journal cast on landmark papers and surgery. My name is Callie Johnson and I'm a general surgery resident and early specialization fellow in vascular surgery at the University of Southern California. Today I'll be reviewing the endovascular versus open repair of abdominal aortic aneurysm trial originally published in May of 2010 in the New England Journal of Medicine. Abdominal aortic aneurysms, or AAAs, are prevalent and often asymptomatic until they rupture. The rupture of a AAA carries a significant mortality of 85 to 90%. Looking at the natural history of AAAs, small AAAs that are less than 4.5 centimeters can be safely observed, while large, rapidly expanding, or symptomatic AAAs should be repaired since the risk of rupture exceeds the risks associated with repair. AAAs can be surgically treated via open surgical repair, which has been performed since the 1950s, or endovascular repair in a more minimally invasive fashion, first performed in 1987. Before the year 2000, the majority of AAA pathology was treated with open repair, with a steady increase in EVAR utilization reaching over 50% by 2004. EVAR offers an attractive option compared to the morbidity and mortality risk associated with open surgical repair. And while early studies demonstrated initial benefit of EVAR, the long-term durability is unknown. The EVAR-1 trial sought to compare the short and long-term morbidity and mortality of these two surgical approaches. The study enrolled patients from 1999 to 2004. Patients were greater than 60 years old from 37 hospitals in the UK with a AAA diameter greater than 5.5 centimeters. For this study, 626 patients were randomized to either open or endovascular repair. The average age was 74 years old with a significant male predominance of 90%. The average size of the AAA was 6.5 centimeters. Endovascular repair demonstrated a statistically significant early mortality benefit in the initial six months. Aortic-specific mortality was 2% in the endovascular group compared to 5% in the open repair group. This benefit, however, disappeared by four years, with both groups having a 1-2% to aortic-specific mortality. Long-term data for this trial was published in The Lancet in 2016, examining survival over 15 years of follow-up. The endovascular repair demonstrated initial survival advantage in the first six months, but the survival lines crossed between four and eight years. After eight years, open surgical repair had better long-term survival compared to endovascular repair. This increase in late endovascular death was mainly associated with aneurysmal sac rupture and device failure. Looking at this a little deeper, late complications and reinterventions differed significantly between the two groups at eight years. The open surgical repair group had an 85% freedom from aortic related complications, while the endovascular group had only 48% freedom from complications at eight years. A similar pattern was seen for renal interventions, with the open surgical repair group having a 90% freedom from reintervention at eight years, compared to only 72% freedom from reintervention for the endovascular group. In summary, endovascular repair had a short term mortality benefit over open surgical repair, but with more complications and reinterventions long term. Therefore, endovascular repair requires lifelong surveillance and may require reinterventions for late device failures. Thank you.